The world's busiest airport is now the focus of a nationwide search for a teenager. I'm asking for help if you've seen Emma or Zari. Mike Linick is the father of this 17-year-old girl. Emma left Cleveland, Ohio on Tuesday morning headed to the Boston area. She was traveling alone and had a connection here at Atlanta Hartsfield Airport. Right now we're still at a standstill trying to figure out where she went once she left the airport. They say she took a Delta Airlines flight from Cleveland to Atlanta on Tuesday and was last seen that day leaving Hartsfield Jackson Airport with an unknown person, a man. Seventeen-year-old Emma Linick, who also goes by the name Azari Holmes or Zari, is described by her foster parents as a wonderful girl with a sweet and bubbly personality. She also loves to sing and loves animals. On Tuesday, September 6, Emma's parents took her to Cleveland Hopkins International Airport for a flight to Boston, where she attends a therapeutic boarding school. Emma has been clinically diagnosed with high-functioning autism. They watched as Emma went through security to her gate where she would board her flight. She has not been seen or heard from since. On Tuesday, they dropped their 17-year-old daughter, Emma Linick, off at Hopkins International Airport for a flight and say she never made it to her destination. And now, four agonizing days later, they still have very few answers. Emma missed her original direct flight to Boston and was placed on another flight that had a layover in Atlanta. Although her plane landed in Atlanta, she never boarded her flight to Boston. Her bags made it to Boston, but she did not. Surveillance footage captured her wandering through the airport at times appearing lost. A photo provided by the FBI and WKYC in Cleveland shows Emma at the Atlanta airport wearing a black head wrap, black top, patterned pants, black shoes, and glasses. She also had a large gray white body pillow. She is five foot three, weighs about 160 pounds, has black hair and brown eyes. According to her parents, she is believed to be endangered and in need of her daily medication, which she does not have with her, the one thing concerning them the most. She also does not have a cell phone with her. It's on my phone and you see missing children and you think, oh my God, I can't imagine what their family is going through. And here we are. The past few days have been a surreal reality for Eleanor Linick. We need to get the word out there to try to find our daughter. The last time she saw or heard from her 17-year-old daughter, Emma Linick, was on Tuesday. Emma, who sometimes goes by Zuri or Zarina, was catching a flight from Cleveland Hopkins Airport to Boston, where she goes to boarding school. We took her to the airport. She passed security. We saw her go through security and she went to her gate. But Emma missed her original flight, so the airline rerouted her, taking her from Cleveland to Atlanta first, then off to Boston. She got on the plane in Cleveland, and then she went down to Atlanta. But she never made the flight to Boston. They have verification that she did get off the plane from Cleveland that landed in Atlanta. The last time they saw her was in um, baggage claim. And that's the last sighting of her. Linick says Emma only had a carry-on with her and doesn't have a cell phone. She also is missing her medication. One of our concerns is she is on medication and she does not have a medication with her. Emma's dad went to Atlanta to search, but so far the family is at a loss. Things aren't going as fast as we like or we hope. And they feel lost without one of their own. A lot of people have reached out, what can we do? And just prayers and spreading the word and praying that she can comes home safely. We love her. The FBI originally stated that she left Hartsfield Jackson International Airport with an unknown man around 10 a.m. on Tuesday. The FBI has since identified the man and assistant special agent in charge, Christopher McRae, said during a Saturday news conference that she was not with that man. Emma's father was also present for the conference. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much. Um, I'm, I'm asking for help if you've seen Emma or Zari. Uh, if you could uh, please call, let it be known. Um, she's a, well, a wonderful girl, um, a sweet and bubbly personality. She loves loves animals. She loves to sing, uh, and uh, we're anxious to have her back with us. Um, thank you very much. We have evidence that later that morning, at approximately 10 a.m., she left the North Daly parking lot at Hartsfield with a man. Emma has not been seen since. We have three pictures 
uh, of Emma for you, one of which is taken from uh, video at the airport. And in one of the photos that I'd like to highlight, this is a photo of Emma wheeling a bag through the airport. And one thing that's a little unusual that you'll notice is that she has this rather large um, support pillow. Uh, her father, Mr. Lennick, describes it as like a more gray, grayish white in color. Um, and so that is something that may be able uh, to help uh, locate her if people um, notice that. While we can't share everything with you um, that we know at this point, because we want to keep our investigation intact, we do need your help, and we Emma needs your help. Special Agent McCray says the FBI's top priority is to locate Emma and bring her back home safe. Emma has ties to Cleveland, Akron, and Twinsburg, Ohio. Her parents ask that everyone continue to spread the word and continue praying for Emma's safe return. Anyone with information leading to the whereabouts of Emma Lennox is encouraged to contact the FBI's tip line.